Bronte, we've got to get serious for a moment. We do indeed. Uh, because the citrus sculptures in Griffith mm-hmm. on Banner Avenue were set up over the weekend. Yeah, on Sunday morning. Very early Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. And, and it's not just Sunday morning. Obviously, there's a lot of preparation yeah. with these things. They're huge. I can't believe some of them. As a new new person to this yeah. town, I saw them for the first time Sunday afternoon. There are some incredible sculptures. They're, 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 they are incredible. Huge. They are absolutely sensational what this community has done for... Over 20 years now, I think they started in 1995, I wow. believe, um, but a lot of hard work goes into them, mm. and people from not only the Riverina, but mm. outside Sydney, Melbourne, all yeah. that, they come to Griffith just to check them out during this time. Yeah, because they're incre- that shows hard work, and it's a source of pride, I think, for it our is. town, because they just look fantastic. Source of pride, source of community spirit. Yeah. It genuinely does bring everyone together. Once yeah. you go to some of the events near there, like the Lynx Festival and stuff, mm-hmm. everyone gets amongst it. Except some people. Mm. There was an incident probably uh, early Monday morning yeah. where a few people decided to vandalise some of the citrus sculptures. Yeah, this was less than 24 hours after over 700 volunteers worked together to put them up. And there's a video on Facebook that's been shared yeah. over 150 times. It shows a number of young people wrenching the fruit off the structures and pelting them at other people. It's so it's so disrespectful, and it is just it's disgusting behaviour. It, it absolutely is. It's irresponsible, immature. It's all of those things. The fact that people can do this. It happened in 2017 too, and people got fined. Only a couple, 500 bucks each. Two people got fined. One was fined one thousand dollars, and another was ordered to complete 50 hours of community service. Good. I feel like that should be the minimum. 50 yeah. hours of community service plus a fine. Yeah. The fact that people can. Go out of their way mm-hmm. to then destroy something so important to yeah. this community. It's just horrible, horrible behaviour from these people. And we hope you're listening because the fact that this got filmed too and is on yeah. social media, the cops are onto it. The last people in 2017 got caught. Mm-hmm. There is a good chance you are going to be busted. Ladies and gentlemen, get up with. Are we ready? Bronte and Sam. Woo! On Riverina MIA, hit 99.7.